guys, Baker here. Got a tutorial. Um, I'm gonna call this uh, bullet waves, I guess. Uh, one of my subs asked me if I knew how to do this effect, where uh, he sprays and it's got some cool warping waves. And uh, he used, he said it was some kind of effect that uh, I haven't really heard or been familiar with. And I thought I'd uh, like to recreate that using uh, built-in things inside of After Effects. So you won't need any extra plugins or whatever it was. But here's what I managed to get. Tell me what you, what you guys think. So, pretty cool. You can see there's a little bit of warping. And uh, pretty pretty sweet. So let's get into it. So I'm going to have a comp. And um, it's going to be a sweet clip. Uh, normally you want this to be on a fully automatic weapon and uh, it's pretty pretty good effect for uh, like fast paced montage something like that but uh, here's what we're gonna do. So we'll go uh, right when he starts spraying pretty laggy or something what the heck come on come on guys there we go. So right about here and uh, let's make a new solid and we'll just call this uh, I don't know, waves? Cool. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go to effect, generate, uh, radio waves. And this is a interesting little uh, effect. It's got some waves and stuff. Okay. And we're going to change the settings a little bit. The frequency. We're going to go up to 5. And expansion, 30. So frequency is like how many and expansion is how far it's going to go off so that kind of controls the speed of them shooting out um... lifespan, we want this to be about one we want it to kind of die off a little bit and uh... start width, I use thirty and end width, I use five so there we go and I'm going to make this white and then we're also going to blur it out to make it a little bit smoother so go ahead and search uh, Gaussian Blur Fast blur, whatever you want, and I'm just gonna pump this up to about 30. Kind of get smooth looking rings. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna displace the original clip using the luminance or the white parts of this uh, rings to, well, to displace it. So, what you can also do is if you don't want the waves to affect your gun, create another new solid. Make sure it is black. Put it right above the waves, and uh, let's turn that off for a sec. And use your pen tool, and just kind of mask out. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect because you won't be able to see it too, too much. But go ahead and uh, put a black solid, and push F to feather it, and feather it about I don't know 50 pixels. Kind of covers that up. And then what you want to do is take the black solid and the rings and pre-compose them and we'll call this displacement map okay and we won't need to see it right now but uh, we're going to when he shoots right there okay and we'll make a an adjustment layer and we'll call this displace so I'll put that right above our clip and we'll go into effects uh, distort displacement map and we'll set the layer to the displacement map layer and the channels need to be uh, either lightness or luminance it should not matter but that'll use the the rings in this comp as the displacement map so go back here again we're gonna change the uh, the distance, let's say uh, 15 or so. Let me just check what I used. Yep, 15. Okay, so you can start to see that little bit of warping going on. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's cut it. So right about here when he starts, we're going to cut the displace and the displacement map because you'll see why in a second. So we'll slide this over. And if you hold shift, it'll just snap right to wherever your uh, time indicator is. And we stop shooting right about here. We'll grab these two, hold shift, and snaps. 
and there we go. Now it's still a little too subtle, so what I can do is just take the displacement map, since it only consists of white and black, we set it to add, and it'll kind of add these little rings to it, and we'll just turn down the opacity to like 2%. want it to be very subtle, but just noticeable. So maybe maybe 5, but don't want to be too much. Yeah, turn that down again to 2. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. If it doesn't render too slow, come on. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, shoot you. Triple chin twin. And let's see if we can take a look. Come in. All right, let's go. So there you go. Pretty cool effects using those rings, using using them as a displacement map. And uh, that's about it. Cool. So um, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already. Uh, go ahead and uh, comment what you think about this effect. Uh, new tutorial ideas, go ahead and, and send me messages, examples, whatever you want. And uh, I'll be there to help you. So, yeah. Go ahead and check out my other channel if you want, Baker's Tuts. Always got to say that. So, yeah. Okay. Have fun. Peace.